let's taste the Cavazza Creari Gambolara Classico. So this is not a very well-known wine, I think, Beth. Tell us a bit about the grape varieties in the region. So this is made from the area of Gambolara, uh, which is right next to Suave, which is better known, um, just north of Verona and um, east of Lake Garda. Um, Gambolara uses the same grape variety, Garganega, which is well known for its kind of um, stone fruit almond character. But this wine has seen some skin contact as well um, and is kind of a light orange wine. So orange wine is a um, slightly different um, style of wine. So um, with red wine, the red wine gets its colour from the skins during fermentation. White wine, you tend to remove the juice straight away, and so it doesn't have any skin contact. So orange wine is a white wine that's left in contact with those skins. So essentially made in a similar method to the red wine, and you're picking up a bit more colour. So it's not a really intense orange wine, but it definitely, if you look at the wine, mm. um, if you have a white background. It's a lovely rich golden colour, isn't it? It's very, very rich. And so I think when we taste this wine, we're going to be expecting kind of something slightly more savoury, though there will still be the stone fruit there, and then a bit more texture on the palate. Great. Oh, it's a very interesting nose, isn't it? It it's is. Lovely. So the winemakers also chosen to use natural yeast. So that's the yeast that's found on the grape skin that comes from the vineyard. And so it's quite a natural fermentation, mm. um, which, which winemakers um, believe gives a lot more complexity to the wine. Mm. And if we smell it, you, I mean, you definitely, you've got stone fruit, there's kind of savory, nutty character there, um, and something that feels a bit more wild and herbal. Yes, wild and herbal, exactly, I love it. Beautifully complex, isn't it? There's just so much going on there. I mean, it's interesting that it's orange in colour, but it, there's also kind of quite an orange flavour on mm. the palate. Yeah, sort of um, orange peel, maybe. Mm. We said in the Lovely. booklet that it's kind of citrus, but it's not that kind of lemony freshness that you mm. often expect with wine. That I mean, there's acidity, but it's that more that acidity you'd expect from eating orange, kind of sweeter um, and, and kind of juicier. Yeah, it's delicious. But again, some of the, the kind of nutty notes and and just something a bit different as well. Like I sort of can't quite put my finger on it, but it's beautiful, um, very complex. And, and again, that's sort of the wild herbal characteristics we, we found in the nose. That's what I think would make it pair beautifully with the herby garlicky roast chicken that Abby's chosen for this. Um, you could just the, the beautiful creamy buttery notes are gonna stand up to the classic roast chicken. Um, but then yeah, it's this beautifully alluring herby uh, natural qualities that I think will, will really make it a beautiful, beautiful match. Um, we chose this wine for the case to really show the diversity of the wines that are being produced in Italy. Um, so it's definitely a wine that you'd want some f food with. Um, but, but that concentration, I think, is so rewarding, very interesting. Um, so I hope you find this uh, a good exploration into Italian white wine.